Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Forza Horizon 5, that is. Uh, I did some grinding, in case you guys are wondering. I'm level 35 now, got 1,300,000 credits. Uh, I also got some wheel spins here. Got 8 super wheel spins and about... Uh, 25 I'd say right now 25 ish uh, normal wheel spins uh, these are very easy to obtain I know there are some glitches around and whatnot even with the super wheel spins uh, the normal wheel spins are very easy to obtain just leveling up just drifting uh, smashing into I'll show you guys the area uh, here in the open in the grass just get a car uh, upgrade your skill points as much as you can uh, smash the uh, cactuses you get an extra bonus for it it's called smactus something like that smack smash this or something like that but uh, it's very easy to obtain uh, if you get your normal multiplier let's say by you have your normal five times multiplier you get a hundred thousand points uh a hundred thousand points times five is five hundred thousand points equals ten skill points if i'm correct i think so yeah so let's say you use a drift car and you upgraded it all the way it has a time seven so you only need about 77 or 75 thousand points to get the same result but that's the way you get your normal wheel spins by leveling up. Um, super wheel spins are quite easy. Uh, for instance, these things here, the uh, events and uh, stuff like that. I did get quite a lot of a uh, few cars because I did open some of those wheel spins. Because I couldn't contain myself, if you know what I mean. I got uh, two times RS6 rs4 i got i also redeemed stuff from the accolade menu i'll show you guys that here in a second because it doesn't give you a little notification uh i got two formula drift cars the 370z and the 240sx uh i prefer the 240sx because it's a little bit more controllable compared to the uh, 370z uh, it gets your, basically your standard cars. I didn't tune any of them. Uh, this time, this, uh, the E63, this time, I, I kept calling it E36. It's the E63. Uh, we won that with an event the last time. I got this uh, rally car, the Forza edition, which gives uh, event boost, which is really nice. Uh, that's about it, really. I got this as a gift. The Willy's Jeep, which if you guys are want super spins, buy Willy Jeeps and you only need five skill points to get to a super spin. It's that simple. So basically you just grind your your XP, buy a load of these Willys and just use five skill points to get a super wheel spin. I mean, how easy? It cannot be easier and it's one of the cheapest. I also got this 2000, uh, 207 uh, Peugeot, which I upgraded to put a new engine in there it's for the uh, rally races. I did, however, unlock some uh, festivals. I am going to do this one now, the Baja. I basically unlocked the dirt one, the, the one that gives more uh, traps and drifts and stuff like that. Uh, for the rest, I didn't do much. Um, we are going to do this Baja Expedition. Which is awesome. I like the, exp the expeditions or the expansions or whatever. Really nice. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this. I might even see if I can up my graphics to the extreme. Small change of plans, my friend. 
Tell me, have you ever seen an active volcano up close? Meet me at the top of the mountain. You don't want to miss this. Oh, by the way, guys, this is that car I was talking about Whoa. a few episodes ago. What was that? That's nothing. Just a small tremor. Garrett's 200 suspension can handle it, no problem. You upgrade this car? Man, it's the best, one of the best hey, hands down, in my opinion. Best handling off-road cars. I don't know. I'm trying to be quiet during the scene, guys. That wouldn't happen to be exactly where you're taking my superstar driver, would it? Está bien, Haley. This is really only a small eruption. Nothing to worry about. Fine. Just remember we have an outpost to set up, yeah? But anyway, this is the car I... Oh my god. The volcano has never been like this before. But it's waking up for Horizon. But this is the car I, as I've been trying to say, this is the car that's really awesome if you upgrade it. In my opinion, hands down, best handling out there for off-road vehicles. The top, we should do our now, and then get out of here, my friend. The Baca is waiting and I think the volcano is getting angrier. I don't know if you can uh, upgrade farther than the rally engine. I hope so, because you were able to in Forza Horizon 4. I don't know if it's the same in this one, but uh, we'll see. We'll find out if we, whenever we buy this car. I do, I do am getting more hang of the game, guys. See, believe it or not, they said opening them, say with a car, actually helps release the geothermal energy. Keep going, superstar. Don't let the Gran Caldera defeat you. Horizon Excess is cheering you on. Coming up with the crazy now, me. Remy. Copy that. Feel free to turn on the air conditioning. <laughs> Let's see what this is all about. You made it. Man, I can't, I can't believe how gorgeous this game is. We have some time. In fact, there are some things she wants us to do up here. For science, you know? <laughs> For science. A little bit glitchy, but uh... see, Haley, we've placed the size monitor. You're getting the readings, right? Hey, Simo, we should be heading down. Nope, heading that way because that's the end. And I remember from the last time when I did that. So there's another bar barn find. Usually there's a uh, barn finds with these things, guys. I earlier I found a jaguar. Cut 
that be science? Might as well just grab this while we're at it. Uh, mesh geothermal vents. Doesn't matter which one. Yeah, right. No, okay, that's good. Probably not how the geologists do it, but. Oh, hey, nice. Science is problem solving. Alright, let's head to the exit. That's all the bonus objectives here. An accolade is used for uh, leveling up your festivals and whatnot. Jeez. Take my hand out of the controller for one second. Ooh. I, I, I was tempted to to buy the Can Am, guys. The Can Am, the, ma the Maverick. I really love that thing. That's enough playing with fire for one day. Ooh, these things are also in Forza Motorsport. They're so fast. So fast and so fun. That was a big one. I think the volcano is telling us we've overstayed our welcome. <laughs> Agreed. Let's go. I'll see you at the boat, Rami. Good thing I know the fastest way down. Don't look back! Try my best! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Man, what crawler? That's all. But I do remember from Forza Motorsports, these things are like you cannot handle them. Like the handling is like zero. Already, but here goes nothing. Ooh, I kinda... into the final lap. Oh, what was this? Some new competitors come into the arena. Oh, oh no. This is awesome. Bravo. I didn't know. That's okay if we finish last. Racing, my friend. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. I totally screwed that up. And again, I didn't know it was happening, so that's fine. Horizon Baja, standing shoulder to shoulder with the Baja 500. Ooh, the pre-runner. That's nice. My friend, those run once a year. We get to do this every day. Look at that little car. It's so cute. You know how to make an entry. Welcome to Horizon Baja. Now that I have to unlock the car through the accolade menu, I'll show you guys how that works. Well, what do you think of the place? This will be the destination for cross country racing. You in? Cross country racing. Here's a new cross country event program to start. So I will see you out there. All right. All right, let's just head back here real quick. And we open the menu. Here's the accolades menu at the campaign section. You just press A on it and on top. Now, ex example for the second one, you see a little car, which means I have a car in there that I can unlock and a little gift. So, same here. With the drift zones, I got a little gift bag. And then you just open it. And you see them, usually they blink. Or at the bottom here, see it? it's blinking, the gold one. And at the bottom left, you see what you get. I get that little drifted off there uh, for a second. That's what I got. So that's what you collect. On. 
uh, in this one, you have to press your right uh, bumper here to switch to the other ones. This one is for the Baja. Here we get our volcanic, or yeah, Vulcan, uh, Volcanologist, something, something. Here we get our car, our F-150 pre-runner, which is a beautiful car. But that's basically how you have to uh, collect it. I figured that out too. I had so many cars to collect, hence why my car collection is pretty big right now. Uh... I want to do a race and I, I want to make a separate episodes on what I kind of want to do is I want to build a a car, a drift car or a drag car. I'm not too sure, but I want to build a car to. Uh, I don't know, just for fun. For funsies. Oh, this is nice. If I buy this house, instantly travel to any road on the map. I unlock fast travel. Which is actually pretty nice. But I just want to do a race. Uh, where am I? I have no clue. I am at the bottom. Well, here. What are we going to do? We're going to do the Baja Scramble. Turn around. It is safe to do so. Jeez. You have arrived at your destination. There we go. Solo. This one. The Forza Wilds. Okay, so now we get to pick a car. Ah, we're going with the Bronco. I do prefer the old Broncos, though. Look wise. Alright, let's do this. That crumbled. It's just a stock car, so <laughs> someone is in a willy, that's funny. <laughs> oh, you bastard. Is that a dude? That pickup? Not the one in front of me. That's the uh, 6x6 Mercedes thing. I meant that orange one back there. Oh, that's messed up, bro. I still haven't changed the difficulty guys, so I'm still playing on uh, Novice, I believe. But like I said, I'm getting used to the game now. The, the feels of the game, so... I'm, do I'm doing better. Which is good though. <laughs> the e-brick. That's okay. This Bronco actually handles pretty dang well. Let's see how this uh, first person thing goes. I do have the drift cam enabled, guys. Like, I'm doing like 150, 170 ish, but 
it doesn't feel like it. When you're in first person mode, it just doesn't really feel like it. And finish. Man, that Bronco is actually pretty nice to drive, guys. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> now for the next episode I might uh, buy the can -Am, the Maverick, and just uh, tune that bad boy. But that was, <laughs> it is a 450 over there. So that was a dually. Okay. And just tune that one and do also the wheel spins, all of them. So that'll be in the next episode. This episode was more of the, the unlocking the Baja and doing a race. Oh, we get a wheel spin. A hundred thousand. Very nice. All right, everyone. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Be sure to join me in the next episode. I'm going to do a lot of wheel spins. And we're going to make the Can-Am. If it's not a DLC in the old... Uh, Forza Horizon 4 it used to be a DLC car. Hopefully it's not in this one. But uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you everyone. Smash that like button. It's very much appreciated. Also hit that uh, hit hit that button, that subscribe button, and uh, join me in the next episode, guys. And as always, have a great day, everyone. Ciao.